Hi guys and welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to update your firmware on your Anycubic Photon Mono X. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to go to Anycubic's site, which is this one. If you scroll down, go to the Photon Mono X. Okay, so if we scroll down, we should see a list right here, which should say firmware. We are eyeing on the Mono X. 3.4.7 uh, this version specifically fixes the problems that uh, the machine was having uh, with regards to the anti-aliasing okay so if you click on this you will be redirected to a google drive okay so download that uh, you will be downloading a .rar so you will need a program that can open a .rar file Okay, so once you have downloaded the file, you will receive this folder right here and it should contain four files. Okay, so if we open the readme file, uh, you should see that uh, it has a very elaborate instructions on how to do it. Before we update the firmware, we need to make sure that the flash drive is very clean and it is not corrupted. Okay, so in order to do that, we must first format it. Uh, make sure you have the right file system format, which is FAT32. And you can toggle quick format if you want. So yeah, we'll just uh, format it. And as you can see, it's done formatting. And if you go to straight to the file, we should import these two files right here. Paste it and eject the file. Okay, so here we have the flash drive that we will use for the firmware update. Plug it in and we should navigate to prints. And you should see two files right there. We must first select the longer file name, which is this one, and click on print. Enter. As you can see, it is updating. Make sure that the flash drive and the power going straight to the printer won't be interrupted during this process or else you might end up with a brick 3d printer okay so now that we have updated that one we must then update the next one which is this one click on the arrow and hit enter it should automatically turn off itself and restart and there you have it that's how easy it is to update the firmware on your Photon Mono X.